unlike most medical professionals. How are you today? Oh, I'm hanging in there. Bloom Healthcare nurse practitioner Chelsea Gostin makes house calls. There's different waves to an EKG. So the visits shortly. let her really get the to know her patients, okay. see how they live, and create successful health care plans. A lot of patients are really truly homebound and can't get out to like see a cardiologist or get their blood drawn. And so you kind of have to definitely a lot of collaboration, creativity, um, and just really trying to find what works best for them. Chelsea knew she wanted to work in home health care because before she graduated from the University of Colorado College of Nursing, she interned at Bloom. An innovative partnership between the provider and her alma mater offers students hands-on experience and a job interview. The program's called Compact. Today, Bloom has hired six CU nursing grads. Chelsea was the first. I felt like I really knew the team, knew the system, knew like the flow of the everyday like work processes. So I was able to just kind of not worry about those things and truly focus more on the nursing care, like diagnosing treatment aspect of it. I, I do think it did make me a better nurse practitioner and gave me a good, solid starting point. Notice that this is a priority. It's trial by hire. Advanced practice nurses studying adult gerontology can apply to do their clinicals at Bloom Healthcare for two semesters. They have a taste of what our practice really is like. So I think they kind of know the benefits that they see all the support, but they also see the challenges of working with this population that are frail and high risk. When I first started, we saw, I went. Dr. Megan Gracer, also a CU nursing grad, runs Compact. They kind of know what they're getting into and they have a little bit of training underneath their belt. So it's not as hard um, for them to hopefully make that transition because they spent time in our practice already and kind of um, see what we do. The other piece is those compact students get exposed to our um, EMR, our electronic medical record. So they are also used to doing some charting, things like that. That's another big hurdle, I think, for new providers is figuring out how do I do my charting? How do I do my documentation? Um, and that hopefully eases that a little bit because they've already been exposed to that. This is what it also kind of looks like when you're... Knowing whether the student is a good fit is critical because the cost to hire and train a new nurse practitioner can top $40,000. The program benefits the provider, patients, students, and the College of Nursing. It means that the cost of orienting a new graduate goes down. It means that the student is able as a graduate to be able to engage in health care and delivery of health care to deliver RVUs quicker. Do you ever have chest pain? In the program, students also learn how to transition from being a bedside nurse taking orders to being in charge and giving the orders. Being a registered nurse and moving into a nurse practitioner role is a complete mindset shift. As a registered nurse, I critically think and I assess and I make evaluations and I make determinations. And then I typically would move that over to a provider, a medical physician, a PA, a nurse practitioner like I'm becoming. But as the nurse practitioner, I need to make those decisions. I'll double check and see if they sent a refill and if, if I'll probably just send one anyway. Compact also offers students like Gostin a smooth path from graduation to a career. It's a whole new world from what I was used to in the hospital, but very rewarding. It is hard work and challenging, but definitely worth it. I do feel that this compact program really does allow us to build a better nurse, a better nurse practitioner, um, and really, you know, makes them critical thinkers and provide excellent care, quality care for these patients in their home. See you next time.